Christmas, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. Gotta be out of here in about 45 minutes or so. So I had to grab some makeup wipes because I was playing around with some colors. I, honestly, I don't really know what I want to do today. I don't know if I want to do like red. I think I want to like combine some red, orange, and I don't know, child. So I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all. So I have literally four palettes in front of me. <laughs> Okay, I have the Joseph Coat, and I'm actually looking into this red that's in here. Real bright red. Um, I'm considering the gold. You know there's going to be gold today. There has to be. I'm wearing gold. There's just... You know, yeah. um, I might use another color out of here. I don't know yet, but I know for sure the red. It almost looks pink, but it is red. And the gold, for sure, out of that palette, right? I have the Morphe Bay palette, a 35M palette here with all these beautiful colors. And I did a swatch with this color here. And then also with that color right there. Um, and I did do a swatch with this kind of golden color over here. So like I said, I'm gonna play around with color. I have no idea what I'm doing, but this color called ASAP, almost look purple, but it almost looked brown. So we'll see what that, where that takes us to. Um, I'm probably going to start with that color and then start going into the other colors. And then I'm gonna attempt to do kind of like a cut crease. I'm gonna attempt. I've done it before, but it's been a while. So we are gonna try to do that. And then I'll go in with the Pat McGrath with one of those sparkly colors, most likely on the crease. So, or on the cut. Um, my version, not a professional, right? So anywho, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited that today is Christmas and I get to spend some time with my family and, you know, just uh, go, well, we're going to the movies today. I am vlogging, so I've already done this intro <laughs> for the vlog. <laughs> um, as far as, you know, talking about us going to the movies and all that jazz like that. Um, and I did say on the vlog that I was doing my makeup. But of course, I wanted to do a separate video because why not? That way you can actually see me do it versus me just showing you. Um, but yeah, we're going with my hubby, of course, my mother, my aunt, uncle. And we're going to go see The Matrix. That should be interesting. It's been years since since I've seen The Matrix. Honestly, sometimes I feel like whenever... Oh, crap. That broke. I don't even know where it went. But um, sometimes I feel like, oh, it's still on my eye. Ah! That's hilarious. Um, but sometimes I feel like when... There's a movie that I haven't seen in years that I need to go back and rewatch the ones that, you know, that I've seen before just to kind of get a feel for the for that movie, you know? My husband did that with Spider-Man. He went went back and watched all the Spider-Mans and then, you know, kind of got himself acclimated to what's going on now. But um I didn't do that with The Matrix. I don't know. I just I like The Matrix, but I just feel like sometimes the movies can be too long and so I didn't want to do that plus getting ready to see one today I was just like yeah let me just you know go with the flow on what we're getting ready to see so but obviously movies are not the reason for our celebration. Jesus is the reason for our celebration. Scholars may say his birthday is not today, but I'm fine with celebrating in in the strength of the whole world of people that do celebrate are honoring Jesus today. So if we can all come together in unity on one day, that's doing something. Because at the end of the day, 
that's what he wants anyway. That's what God wants is unity. So it may not be the exact same day. Santa Claus and had your kids. Why I say this? But Santa Claus and reindeer and, you know, all that stuff don't have nothing to do with this day, you know? And so I feel like it couldn't be commercialized and it has been commercialized a lot, you know? But the reason why we celebrate for the season is for Jesus' birthday, Jesus' birth. You know what I mean? The birth of the Son of Man, the birth of our Savior. And um, I'm just happy to be with family to do that. You know, enjoy one another's time, especially with everything going on. We still, like I said, we still wear our masks. We still take precautions. I have a whole bunch of Lysol wipes and things like that. But, you know, we can't live our life in fear. We got to keep moving. We got to keep, you know, doing things because... You know, as long as we're safe, you just have to live. You have to live your life. You know, at the end of the day, there's going to be something that happens um, down the line that put a wrench in your plan sometimes. But I honestly feel like this pandemic brought us closer together. Brought us closer together, allowed us to see what's really important. And it's not necessarily giving gifts. Obviously, I purchase things for people. And I've gotten things too, but the bottom line is it Jesus is the gift, you know. And um, you know, He gave His life for us. He was literally born to die, and that's what this is all about: celebrating our Savior, celebrating the fact that we actually have someone that loves us, even in all our mess, even knowing what we are thinking of doing okay let that let that uh as uh what's his name country wayne say sizzling your spirit <laughs> let that sizzling your spirit you got somebody to know what your intent of your heart is and still love you Ooh, glory to god thank you jesus you still love me when you know that i'm getting ready to mess up even before i know i'm getting ready to mess up because i don't know about you Nine times out of 10, I'm not sitting here calculating, like, yeah, how can I mess up today? I ain't doing that. You know what I mean? I mean, some people do. Don't get me wrong. But that ain't my style, you know? Obviously, on major things, whatever you want to call major uh, sin or mishaps or whatever, but we all do it to a certain extent. And it ain't, it's, there's no, you know, measurement to say what sin is better than the next or greater than the next or lesser than the next sin is sin, period. So for the grace and mercy that is on our life, we owe God. You know, we owe him. Because as I always say in my podcast, Courageous Beauty, the wages of sin are death. And the fact that we didn't die in the moment that we committed the sin that ain't nothing but the grace of God. And I don't take it for granted. If this ain't for you, you can fast forward through this as I do the makeup. But honey, if it is for you, join in in the conversation in the comments and let me know how you feel. Because I'm telling you, if it was, if it had not been for the Lord, and that, that saying can be so cliche because everybody says it, you know? And everybody has their reasons for saying it. But I truly tell you, if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, I have no idea where I would be. You know? So, there's pleasure in sin for a season. You can wild out, have fun, do what you think you're doing. And, you know, do what you think is fun out here as young kids. And the word of God says that he will protect fools and babies. We all have been babies at one point in our life, and we show sure enough all been fools. <laughs> and some of us still are. <laughs> okay, honey. So don't get it twisted and thinking that just because you save, we done made it. We done arrived. We, we perfect now. The devil is alive. We got a lot to learn about this, about this world and people in it. Um, I can go on and on and on. The bottom line is we just need to recognize what this season is all about. This 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 Advent season is literally about Jesus. 
that's what it is period okay so yeah so i went in with some concealer as i normally do for my brows i'm going in um and that was the juvia's you know my normal uh, 14 15 concealer top and bottom i use the juvia's i just dropped it on the floor so oh here it is dropped it on the floor I use the Juvia's I Sculpt I Shade Brown pencil, and it's actually in chocolate, I believe. Yeah, I believe it. yeah, chocolate. And it's very precise tip is what I use. I like to just go ahead and like shape my brow a little bit. And if I feel like after I do my makeup, if I need to fill them in a little bit more or brush them a little more, I do that. Um, that's still a work in progress for me. So, and then I'm going in with the I Prep I Prime eye primer in the color or the shade one, the lightest shade, because I, I like my colors to pop. So, I have no idea how far up I'm going with this color. Probably pretty, probably pretty far up, just because I'm probably going to go into a lot of colors today, because you know I can. All right. So you may see me look this way, as before. You know my mirrors over here. And I'm getting this down with a brush this time so I can spread it out a little more quick, quicker. Because as I told you, once you get this primer down um, and you start doing your eyeshadow, it ain't really budging, okay? <laughs> Which is good because that's what we want. It definitely allows the shadow to adhere. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for the cut crease. I might. Um, not not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, my my type my tip my type of cut crease may not be the right way to do it. I'm just gonna do what I feel comfortable to do, what I know how to do, and we're gonna rock it out. So that's what we're gonna do. So I did not use very much there. Let me get a little more. I don't want to use too too much. A little bit. As I said before, it goes a long way with this. But I'm pretty much just trying to follow the shape of my eye. And I'm also being mindful of my time. Ooh, our time goes fast. Sheesh. 10.33. I started this process at 9.50. Well, that's when I started my intro for the vlog. Ooh, child. <laughs> and of course, I had to find a couple other things. Um... So yeah, anywho, we're here now. Um, I only have 35 minutes to record this in this video. So hopefully I can be done before the video cuts out. And then I end up having to come back. Um, so I'm hoping to be finished. I'm definitely going to be using some powder today. Because um, I will have my mask on and no telling how long we're going to be gone. And... Um, you know all that stuff so definitely gonna be using some powder and actually I think I want to try something a little different I don't remember if I've done this but I want to try powder where I put concealer for this shadow so probably doesn't need it to be honest with you but I'm gonna try a little bit and see what that do and this is the, I say it different every time, Kalahara, Kalahara, Kalani, Kalahara, however you say it. I'm just going to put a little bit from the top on my brush. And it's probably going to change the color a little bit, but I'm going to stretch my eye and put that powder on there. Let's see what difference does that make for me. I know that it kind of like mats down the uh, concealer and it helps with like wrinkling, you know, like creases and stuff. And it dries it down a little bit faster so you can get the work. That's what I've heard folks say. So we'll see if that makes a difference for me. So I'm glad I'm using this brush and I am gonna be using a brush today to actually put on my um, foundation as well. I'll go back in with the Beauty Blender most likely to make sure everything is cool, but 
and probably to add the powder. But I'm gonna use a brush for foundation today as well. Let's see. Make sure I get right in here with like that. Okay. Alright, so I think my base is pretty good right now. Don't want to get this powder on me. All right, so let's grab a brush and I'm going in a Wahala palette, a Wahala 2, into the ASAP color. We're gonna start with that. It's starting to look less, less and less more brown to me on camera. It looks more like a deep purple, but in person it looks brown. So we're gonna see what we get. I don't think I've ever used that color. So we shall see, honey. All right, let's grab a brush. See, I got quite a few brushes here. Let's see what we get with this one. This one is, I think probably just like a, a blending brush from e.l.f. So I'm gonna tap in that. I don't wanna put too, too much, but we're gonna tap in that and see what we get. Okay, looks purple. Like a deep, 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 deep purple. So what I wanna do with this is I wanna go heavy right here. Put it across, you see that? When I try to go across, this primer is a bomb, y'all. I love it, if I haven't told you already. <laughs> what you know I tell you every video. So I'm gonna go across. I had to go back into the shade and uh, Definitely build it up. I may go uh, above this with a lighter color. I don't know yet, but I definitely want this color to be in here. Like this will be the color that I use to kind of like, I guess, put some depth on the end. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going for there. Okay, so far, I'm cool with that. Let's do this side. Up the end. Okay. Really hope you guys have a safe holiday weekend and that you are able to spend time with your family and God bless you. You lost loved ones in this season. Recently or prior in previous seasons. I pray the peace of God be with you and your family. In Jesus' name, that you're able to cope and know that this too shall pass. And that even if your loved one is not here physically with you, that they are with you in spirit. They are with you in your heart. I tell you, I miss my grandmother. I really do. You know, and it's, you know, <laughs> nobody can replace your grandma, man. Or your grandfather, for that matter. Huh? Nobody can replace anybody in your family, but you know what I'm saying. The matriarch and the patriarch of the family. Yo, I tell you, these seasons, you just be like, wow. Wish they were here to enjoy this time with us, but I'm glad in the name of Jesus, and this is gonna sound crazy. I'm glad my grandma ain't going through this uh, pandemic, honestly. You know, because my grandma was a go-getter, you hear me? She, you could not keep her in the house, okay? My husband's in the shower, I don't know if you can hear that. But you know, this is real life, this is what you get. So I'm going through, as we talk, deepening in, but, um. Just deepen it in until I feel comfortable with it. Um, I don't know where the red gonna go, but we gonna see. I might put the red above it, who knows? We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> my grandma, you couldn't keep you couldn't keep her in the house, you hear me? She was, she was out there in the streets, you hear me? Nah. <laughs> What I mean by that, let me clear it up. She was like going to bingo and you know, I was with her. I was definitely with her. 
Um, she's, she would go to bingo and have fun with her friends. And shout out to all her friends if they ever watch my video. Um, they around. You know who you are. <laughs> much love to you. Um, but yeah, so much so they would ask her. They'd be like, why you always got this girl with you? Me, me and me, right? I'm going to go into the red now, y'all, from the uh, Joseph's Coat palette. It's called Torn. And um, I'll be fitting and talking about Grandma Torn. Look at that. I didn't plan that, y'all. <laughs> um, let's look, let's go up here with the red. Let's we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so she would have me with her at the casinos. I was we went to the casino in Canada, and. Um, I think I was 13. I don't know how they look, child. I looked older than, um, you know, 13. So maybe that's how she got got away with it. I don't know. But I, I did see uh, women in the in the casino pushing strollers. So I guess if a little kid can be in there, I guess I could have too, you know? You know. But anyway, we had fun. My grandma was the card. I don't want to call her a card shark because she wasn't a card shark, but connoisseur. You hear me? If you came into her presence, you had to learn how to play cards. Do you hear me? Okay, it's a wrap. You're not getting out of it. It's just not happening. <laughs> oh my goodness. So needless to say, I definitely know how to play cards. <laughs> yep. We play uh, this game is similar to Uno, but with regular cards. It's called Screw Your Neighbor. We played uh, 5,000. That's with the wild cards. Same as 500, basically. Um, I don't, some, some games I don't remember how to play, like Uno or whatever. I don't know how to play that. We played probably every every solitaire game you could think of. Um, Kings in the Corner. And just spades for sure just saying gotta know how to play spades okay <laughs> if she let you be her partner that means you 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 know how to play good and i was definitely her partner quite a few times so but she taught me so i knew how to play i don't know where i'm going with this color y'all so we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna make it something but i wanted to use some color today so we're gonna see how this how does all turn out? It looked pink. It don't look red. But you know, whatever. So anyway. Um, <laughs> and like I say, if I don't like it, I take it off. I have no problem starting over. Okay. No problems. Um, so I like the red or the pink, whatever color you want to call it. It's red. It's not looking red though. But I'm going to go back in ASAP and deepen this right here. Um, but anyway, she was just fun. She was just a fun person, you know? I'm not saying that was the best thing for me to be up in casinos and bingos and all that stuff today, but, you know, whatever. We, we ain't perfect. Nobody's perfect. I just told you earlier, ain't nobody perfect, okay? But I had fun with my grandma, though. And uh, my uncle too. It'd be us three because I used to I used to stay with them. And like, say I get out of school, and they'd be like, "All right, we about to go on a trip." And we would drive. We live in Ohio, so we would drive to like I don't know Virginia or Tennessee or New York or just all these different places. You know what I'm saying? All these different places we would end up. Um, I just want to see what that looks like. Look like something. So, and this is from the Morphe palette. It doesn't say what color this is. So I'm gonna get in here. And I definitely lost that darker color, but I'll get I'll I'll get it back. And I think that's gonna be that. And I'm gonna come in here, maybe just about 
here, I guess. And then put some, or maybe to right here. Put some gold from here. So I'll keep this color out here, mainly. But yeah, she was just fun, y'all. I can, I can talk about her all day. And um, even if, like, I know she was my granny. I called her granny. But everybody called her granny. That actually just became a nickname for her. <laughs> you know, because she was just grandma. Everybody's grandma. And she would cuss you out in a minute, child. And don't let her forget your name. She'll be calling you everybody's name. And I will mess with her. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord, but I would. I would mess with her. I would mess with her and I'd be like just looking at her and she'll be calling me everybody's name, my mom's name. And then she wouldn't say my name. And I'd just be just looking at her like, I'm waiting for you to say my name. She would help her. You know I'm talking to you. <laughs> Ooh, child. It was funny though. We both had a good laugh afterwards. I would just mess with her, cause why not? This looks a hot mess right now, but I feel like I can turn it around. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this color over here. Maybe up in here. Now I'm gonna go in with this and I have another brush somewhere that I can that'll help me here we go it'll help me blend this out more so I am gonna go in with the eye prep eye prime and I'm gonna go in with the brush I think I'm gonna go in with the brush that I was using for um placing the concealer down. I don't know what I did with it. Hold on. I have to be careful because I have all of this stuff sitting in a drawer on my desk. And um, I don't want to uh, do too much here. You know what? I'm going to use this brush. Let's see what we can do. Um. Ooh, I ain't got too much longer on me. Just kind of get a little outline. A little bit of an outline. Get that on there. I'm just gonna go right in here. Now I could have taken that color off right here, but I didn't. And then I'll blend it back. Hope I can get the other side of it. Let's see. Uh oh, what's that problem? Let's see. Down here. I guess it won't look so bad once I get the uh, gold on here and blend it out. I'm looking at my time. I ain't gonna be as far on right now, so we don't have to make it do what it do. Looks pretty even. Even as we can get. And I didn't take it all the way out. I 
I probably do take it out a little bit further on that side. That's okay. I'll add more color on that end. Okay, so, and I need to do clean up in here and all that, so. I think we'll be okay, y'all. Hopefully. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna try to pat my graph. Go. This one right here. I'll try that. I think that's the right one. It looks so different on video. Do it this way. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one in the center. Now that I have the primer, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I like it. It's definitely gold. <laughs> For sure. Definitely gold. I got two liners that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use one liner as liner and then one liner to fill in the lip to see what I like. But I may not go with it for sure because I do have a lip that I can use. But I just wanna do a bit of an experiment. So I can already tell you that I really love this Pat McGrath. Uh, obviously none of this stuff is sponsored yet. <laughs> But I really love this Pat McGrath because it's such a fine powder, a fine shadow. And um, this brush is good too, but it just packs on for me really well. Now I was able to get it on good without the primer, but I honestly feel like this, you have to have primer with this in order to get the quality out of it that you're looking for. So I definitely need to blend all that out um yeah gotta blend all this out and i know i'm gonna lose time on my camera i'm gonna have to come back that's okay i really like that i like that gold all right let's blend out the color so i don't look crazy um i'm not gonna use that brush so i think i'm done with the, I don't know what I'm done with yet. <laughs> but I'm gonna come in with this brush here, this two-sided brush, and I'm gonna let that blend me out. It's got color on it already though. So I'm gonna take this and get some of that color off. And I'm gonna just blend it out first. And then if I need to add anything back, I can. Let's blend that on out. Oh, this is really good blending. That's not half bad, to be honest. I like it. It definitely did take a lot of color away. So I might. like this side better so I'm gonna have to clean this side up with concealer but let me go back into this ASAP a little bit I want it right here in the corners yeah Time, so I'll come back with the eyes finished and then we'll do complexion. Okay, so I only got a few seconds left on the clock. I think I'm good with the eyes that way. So I'm just gonna start uh, cleaning up here with the concealer and I'll come back 
I'm gonna have to restart my video over again. But I'm gonna clean it up real good right here. Sharpen the edge. I'm sharpen the edge in here, real good, and uh, yeah. All right, so I said I'm gonna do my foundation with powder. I mean, um, with a brush, but I want to set this with a little bit of powder underneath my foundation as well. Not much, just a little. Let's that out. And then let this color set. Dipping into the powder just a little bit. And I'm gonna let that dry down before I put my foundation on. You guys have seen me put on my foundation. So I'm not doing that any different except I'm using a brush. So I will be right back after I have my foundation on. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. So this is what we're looking like um, with the foundation. Only thing that I did not do is just do another coat of powder everywhere. So I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to use the same brush that I use for foundation. And I'm gonna put a little bit in the top. Gotta make sure I don't lose my ring light. <laughs> there we go. Just a teeny bit. And I'll set my face and keep it moving. So just the overall powder. Up in here, and I'm going to be wearing my mask, and that definitely does help. And I did go down here today, I didn't go all the way down here because my, my neck is super light down there, but it's okay, you know. And just to, just basically what was in the, what was in the top. I think that's good. I'm gonna put on some liner. And I did really enjoy using that um, rouge. So I'll use that too. So let's go ahead and get liner on, eyeliner, and uh, make sure this ain't dried up. I'm using the gel liner from Pee And uh, the camera's gonna cut off again. Because I'm 
because I don't want to like this on my phone and as much as I've been uploading. So that's good enough there. Um, I'm going to put on some mascara. And I am wearing lashes. Maybe. I want to. We'll see. I'll be back in a minute, y'all. It's going to cover up in Hey guys, so I got a few more minutes. So I actually brushed the wig out. I, this side is a little bit more wet, but it'll dry. And I wanted it to be like puffy like this side. So anyway, that's what we're working with that. This is the look so far. I think it looks really crisp, real Christmassy, real pretty, real holiday. So I'm going in with Scorpio and I'm going in with this Lux red. So let's see what that looks like. Now Scorpio, I'm just going in just like regular line. Okay. Just like regular liner. And then now I'm going in with the Lux. Let's see what that looks like. And the only thing I think I'm going to do is put on some rouge. I think that's about it though. Blush, rouge, whatever you want to call it. I think that's pretty. And I was actually going to put on some gloss, but I think I'm just going to leave that just like that. Leave it kind of matte, like. I'll be sure to bring these two with me. Ooh, child. That's cute. I'm proud of this look, y'all. It was a little rough. It was rough. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was rough. I still think I got a little bit more on this side. But you know, whatever. I'm leaving it. <laughs> okay. Let me get the rouge. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I got it. So, I used this one last time, I think. So, I'm gonna go in this one again. No, I think I did use this one. So I'm gonna go, still use this one anyway. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my concealer or um, foundation and also for my um, powder. I'm just gonna tap in. Uh, Jackie Hina, she puts her blush under her foundation and she still puts more on and it just looks so pretty. Shout out to Jackie Hyman. I'm not that she'll ever see my video, but you never know. She might. I think that's pretty. And then maybe she can give me some pointers. <laughs> my cheeks are already high. I'm just blending, blend, 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 blend. I want to get rid of it completely. But I definitely want, don't want a hole out there. These love me hair wigs, man, are the bomb. And I asked my husband, I said, which one should I wear today? And he told me to wear the curly one, so that's what I'm doing. And this is gonna be about the finish look, y'all. About it. I think I might put just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of a. Uh, ooh, did y'all get my phone? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> a teeny bit of um, highlighter on, just a little bit, cause you know why not? Nefertiti, right? Just a little bit. 
Not much. I should have used a heroin blow. I don't know what that is. Actually, it's right here. I'm gonna use the heroin blow. Is that right? Right there. something I'm gonna go into the Nefertiti and uh, that's gonna be too much put it up here and a little brow bone you know Some stuff I have to keep from starting the video. So. Yep. That's it, y'all. That's the finished look. I think I'm ready for the holiday, right? I think that looks pretty. And I have my gold glasses that you've always seen. I'm going to use. They're dirty. I need to clean them off. But just for the sake of you being able to see them on, that's what they look like. So that's it. So Merry Christmas, you guys. I will see you in the vlog. God bless you. Bye.